Number 10. Calculate the wavelength of light that has its third minimum at an angle of 30 degrees when falling on double slits separated by 3 micrometers. Explicitly show how you follow the steps in the problem. Yeah, no, 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 no. I think you know by now. We're not going to do it that way, but rather, we're going to do it. My way. So, we know we're dealing with a minimum, and therefore we're dealing with a destructive interference. Therefore, we're going to be using the formula over here on the right-hand side, the third one from the top. It says that the distance between the double slits multiplied by the sine of the angle between the double slits and this third minimum, all right, that angle right there uh, is going to be equal to now our m value, which represents the order, okay, but you got to be careful with something there, uh, plus then one half multiplied by the wavelength, all divided then by the, uh, well, not divided by, we're not solving that yet. So calculate the wavelength, sorry. So calculate the wavelength, we need, we need the wavelength, okay. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to divide this on over, okay. And here's the formula now for the wavelength. So we have everything we need. We just got to make sure we got it in the right units and we got to be careful about the M value. All right, check out number nine. I mentioned what to do with M there. So the distance between the slits, right, is going to be three micrometers, but we need that in meters. So just take three and multiply it by 10 to the minus six. Multiply then by the sine of the angle and it's 30 degrees, great. Divided then by two. M is 2. The reason being is because the first minimum falls at an M value of 0. All right, I gave you some rules in the prior problem to follow. Plus then 1 half. Now then multiply, uh, and that's it actually. Now multiply by anything. All right, good. Nice. Multiply that now at the top, 3 times 10 to the minus 6 times sine of 30. Make sure you calculate it in degree mode. Divide that then by 2.5 basically. And we get 6 times 10 to the minus 7, or 6.00 times 10 to the minus 7th. That is in now meters, all right? If you want it in micrometers, that'd be about 0.6, right? Micrometers, or if you want it in nanometers, that's 600 nanometers. You know what to do from there, all right? But that's that. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Help us out if you can. Like, subscribe, maybe even tell some of your classmates. We've got a ton more problems out there, especially if you're taking even other classes, pre-calculus chemistry. We solve specific problems. Even if you're not using the OpenStax books, download them. They're free. Find similar problems, and I guarantee you that they will be very similar, if not identical, problems to the ones you're having. All right? And we'll help you through it. Thanks again.